Hello everybody. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use the new common saw plan feature and the multiple results with the solace allocation and best remainder features in Advisor 7. Advisor 7 offers the capability to add saw planes automatically in a position that will maintain chosen result shapes and leave the biggest remainder for the second planning part thus getting the best decision for the rough stone at a later manufacturing stage. Let's see how it works. I would like to plan this rough stone. As you can see, for this stone, I might choose a pair or a marquise. I would like to make the rough shape decision at a later manufacturing stage, but continue the planning for the best top for it. I will check mark the requested results and click the Sawing Planner button. As you can see, the next best top for the rough stone was added, while the chosen polished stone's results allow me to continue with the stone opening and decide about my best suitable results at a later manufacturing stage. I can also use the common saw plan with the solace or best remainder features. I will need at least one planned makeable within the rough stone. To use the common saw plan with the best remainder feature, I will check mark the requested results and click the best remainder button. I can click the button again and again until I have reached the desired amount of results for the rough. As you can see, I have managed to allocate the next biggest stone using the best remainder feature but we'll decide later on about the best fitted shape for the makeable part of the stone. To use the common saw plan with the solace feature, I will follow the same procedure. I will check mark the requested shapes for the first makeable and only then click on the solace button. As you can see in this example, I have managed to plan the next biggest polished stones on the one hand and on the other hand decide about the best chosen makeable shape at a later manufacturing stage. The last thing I want to show you. Sometimes the second biggest stone is not the best solution due to inclusion locations or better clarity in a specific area. In such a case, I can manually move the sawing plane to a certain location, right click and choose Move Plane out of Polishes. This will automatically move the plane out of the polishes in the desired location. You are now ready to use this great feature. Thanks for watching and goodbye.